when someone becomes angry, their body turns red, and their eyes may redden as blood rushes to their head. This anger comes from the influence of shaitan. Shaitan might tell someone who wants to respect their parents, you're an independent adult. Why should you listen to them or let them control your life? All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The meaning of I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan is that we are asking Allah for protection from shaitan who doesn't want us to be happy or to do good things. Shaitan tries to distract us, especially when we engage in good deeds. For example, when we start reading the Quran, Shaitan might come and try to distract us by making us think of other tasks we need to do, like calling a friend or completing unfinished work. Shaitan tries to keep us busy and make us forget to recite the Quran. If we are strong enough to start reciting, shaitan will try to make us lazy, bored, or eager to finish quickly so that we don't spend enough time on the Quran. Shaitan knows that the Quran encourages us to do great and righteous deeds, promoting high morals and preventing us from committing haram actions. When we read the Quran, it teaches us to respect our parents, care for orphans, give charity, be honest, and avoid cheating others. The Quran also warns us against drinking alcohol, using drugs, and reminds us that shaitan is our greatest enemy. It forbids suicide and tells us to be just and establish justice, advising us not to follow the path of wrongdoers. Shaitan doesn't want us to stop doing bad things or to start doing good things. So when we begin to recite the Quran, shaitan becomes angry and tries to stop us. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ So when you recite the Quran, seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan. This teaches us to say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan before doing good deeds. For example, if someone is about to drink alcohol or commit zina, shaitan won't try to stop them because they are already doing wrong. Shaitan only tries to stop people who want to do good things, such as reciting the Quran, giving charity, or respecting their parents. Shaitan might tell someone who wants to respect their parents, you're an independent adult. Why should you listen to them or let them control your life? In this way, Shaitan tries to prevent good people from doing good things. Therefore, we say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed state before we begin any good action. We also say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed Satan when we have nightmares, as shaitan may try to disturb us in our dreams and make us feel sad or fearful. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us to spit three times to our left side and say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan, and not to tell anyone about it. Another situation where we should say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan, is when we yawn. Yawning can cause laziness and shaitan wants us to be lazy. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be active, productive and to do great things on earth, such as establishing justice and being good examples of Muslims. So when we yawn, we should cover our mouth and say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed Satan to prevent Satan from making us lazy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغٌ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ When shaitan touches you, say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan. When we get angry, say the same. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقُلْ رَبِّ أَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ هَمَزَاتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ And I seek refuge with you, my Lord, from the whispers of the devils. The meaning of A'udhu Billahi Min Ash-Shaytan Ar-Rajeem, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan, is that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the harm of shaitan in our religion. 
and in this world or from anything that prevents us from doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to do or encourages us to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. This shows that shaitan is a serious enemy. There are virtues and benefits of saying A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem before reciting the Qur'an. It creates a pure environment and a sense of cleanliness without any distractions from the evil that shaitan represents. This shows that devils are real because if they weren't, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't instruct us to seek refuge from them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the existence of jinn in the Quran, stating that some jinn are good and some are bad. The bad jinn are the devils. However, they cannot harm anyone except by Allah's permission. By seeking refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we strengthen our connection with Him and purify our hearts sincerely, asking for protection from shaitan's whispers. When we say, A'udhu Billah, it is an acknowledgement that we are weak and powerless to prevent the harm of shaitan on our own. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help and strength because without his support, we cannot overcome shaitan. Doing good deeds becomes easier when we seek Allah's refuge from the cursed shaitan. When a person recites the Quran and reads Allah's promises and warnings, their faith increases and they develop more taqwa, piety and consciousness of Allah. Those who humble themselves and their hearts during prayer will be successful in this life and the afterlife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ The believers are successful, those who humble themselves in their prayers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned that shaitan is our greatest enemy, saying, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ فَاتَّخِذُوهُ عَدُوًا Indeed, shaitan is an enemy to you, so take him as an enemy. Fighting this internal enemy is more important than fighting any external enemy. The external enemy is visible, and we can be cautious of him. But the unseen enemy, shaitan, is not visible, so he can trick us more easily. If we reflect on the story of shaitan with our father, Adam, peace be upon him, we will see that shaitan swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he was giving sincere advice to Adam. As a result, Adam believed him, thinking that no one who swears by Allah would lie. Shaitan told Adam that he would live forever. And Adam believed him because shaitan swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another instance, shaitan swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he would mislead all human beings except the sincere servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan is made from fire and anger also comes from fire. When someone becomes angry, their body turns red and their eyes may redden as blood rushes to their head. This anger comes from the influence of shaitan, which is why when we get angry, we should say, I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran that shaitan is our enemy and he is unseen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed, he sees you, he and his tribe, from where you don't see them. Shaitan is an absent enemy. And the only one who can protect us from his evil is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all devils. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us always to the truth. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.